Hi, this is Bambi at Copel TV Repair with a quick instructional video that may help someone save a buck or two and get things done faster and easier. <clears throat> this is about a power supply board DPS 200 PP 190, also known as this number, uh, which is read a little bit differently 56.0420. Uh, what was it? 0 0.061. Uh, it's a power board for Visio M651D-A2R. And it was brought to us by a local TV tech. Uh, a good portion of our business is with local TV technicians who bring us boards uh, that they want done faster or um, just want done because they cannot find them. So uh, yesterday a local TV tech brought this saying that they cannot find the board anywhere. Uh, contrary to their claim it is on eBay by sell for, from someone for only $36 and $11. So what you get there is $47 as of today. Uh, the board, the TV was totally dead and the board was lacking standby. Uh, there was nothing here where the 5 volt standby voltage is supposed to be. And the reason for that was that simple shot key rectifier diode on the primary circuit that sits right here. We've seen that same diode being um, damaged in other boards. So we do sell it as an individual component. I will update the listing on eBay. It was for a different board. We'll just include that one. That was the only thing that had to be repaired on the board. A, a better repair probably would have been uh, to put two of those in parallel. Um, honestly, I do recommend doing that. They will work definitely better. Uh, but if one of them worked for five years, there's nothing wrong with replacing it with the exact same thing. What I want to show is that this is the original diode that we pulled out of there. And as you can see, it's that short. So if your uh, board is totally dead and has no standby which is the easiest way actually to get standby is from the cathode of this rectifier diode and ground say one of those i don't know if this is grounded i use the metal probe that is metal plate okay so it is the same thing ground you can get it here or here uh, and this or you can just get it from the first two pins on that connectors per the table here Pins 1 and 2 are 5 volts standby. To activate the board, you gotta jump this to that. And then you have 390 here, approximately. With 390, you have the 24 and all the other voltages, which is what we just verified. So, uh, for the cost of a single component, you can get the board working if you're not afraid of soldering. Or, you, of course, you can buy it. I don't know who that is, but that was the single listing that I found on eBay uh, for that board. Hopefully, that helps. Good luck repairing.